excited to bring you this video today. So I was on the YouTube teacher community page and I saw a happy teacher true story post that he had made his first video. And I left a comment saying that I thought his video was great and that I would love to collaborate with him because he is in France and I would love to do some type of video about the difference between American education and French education. Then I ended up getting a message from Life in Kafupo Land and she said she had a wonderful idea to have a three-way collaboration and so through various emails we decided to make a teaching tag and that is how this tag came to be it is called the teaching around the world tag and it will be a monthly series um, every month for a year we will be making videos based on various topics and questions and we invite everybody in the teacher YouTube community or maybe if you're not in the teacher YouTube community but you do teach please participate and get this spread because I would love to see various countries all over the world participating in this tech. So again, the collaborators on this tag will be myself, the Emerging Educator, Life in Kafupo Land, and A Happy Teacher True Story. Every month we will be bringing you questions based on a specific theme that has to do with teaching. And we will discuss how that theme ties into our country. What is the norms? What is the standards? How that plays out where we live. And... Our first video for the month of August will be just a get to know us video. All right, so you may be asking yourself, how is this going to be possible? Here is how it will work. At the beginning of every month, we will make a video and post it about the questions and the theme of the month. At the end of that video, we will give you the questions and the theme for the upcoming month. So that way you also can participate in the upcoming month's questions. This first month for August is just to get to know you video so that before we even get started talking about education, you can know who we are, a little bit more about us, and what we're about. One more thing. Not only will we be participating in the Teaching Around the World tag, but we will also be putting our country in the background so we will put a flag of our country in the background so that way you as a viewer can remember who we are and where we're coming from question number one what country state territory province etc or area do you teach in so I teach in the United States, more specifically in the state of Illinois. I am about 30 minutes south of Chicago, and I recently just got hired with the Chicago Public School District. So I'm leaving my current district to start there in September. Question number two, how long have you been teaching? So I've been teaching about three and a half years. I graduated in December of 2014, which means that it's only been three and a half years instead of four. And in January, I will be beginning my fourth year of teaching. Number three says, what grades have you taught? So when I was getting my degree, I actually ended up getting an additional certification in bilingual and ESL. So right after graduation, I long-term subbed in a third grade bilingual classroom. Then I did six months or so of ESL interventions to finish out a school year. And then I went to Harvard, Illinois, where I ended up teaching third grade dual language to two different classes. That felt like a little bit of a challenge for me as a first year teacher, so the following year I went smaller. I ended up with my own class and I taught first grade bilingual. I did find out my upcoming teaching assignment for this year and I will be in second grade bilingual. Okay, number four. Do you have a favorite, least favorite grade level to teach? Yes, I do. My favorite grade level to teach is around first or second grade. Um, I just love to see how far students are advancing at that age and really just the excitement that they bring 
they're still super excited about coming to school and super excited about learning. Everything that they're learning is new. They haven't learned it yet, so that excitement is just genuine and natural. My least favorite age group would have to be middle school to secondary high school. Um, I just feel like at that age, those students are really starting to struggle with their position as young adults and they have enough sass as an adult but they're still very young so it's difficult to reach them and make connections with them because every single thing that you say or do with them there's some type of a sassy remark or comment and it's just not for me I like being bubbly with my little ones and I like smiling and I like hugs and I like holding hands so that's my answer. Number five, do you have a favorite, least favorite subject to teach? Yes, I do. Again, um, my favorite subject to teach is math or music or history. And my least favorite subject to teach is science. For some reason, I love math because there's a concrete answer, there's a strategy, there's an equation, there's a way to get to the right answer. Whereas with science, there's multiple reasons why something could be happening. So there's not a finite answer and somehow that just drives me crazy. Number six, identify one strength you have in teaching. I would say my biggest strength is that I'm very passionate and I'm very dedicated to my students and I'm willing to put in whatever effort it takes, time, money, resources, whatever I can to make sure that my students are being successful and that they have what they need to learn. And number seven, identify one area you would like to know more about in teaching. So because I am still an emerging educator, I am still really working on perfecting my teaching of literacy. More specifically, I'm really learning how to differentiate my instruction for my students and to enrich the students who need enrichment but also help the students who are struggling who are below grade level to to fill that achievement gap and get closer to where they should be on level all right ladies and gentlemen that is it that is the first month of our Teaching Around the World tag. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, and below. Also, please go to the page of Life in Kafupo Land and A Happy Teacher True Story, so that way you can see their responses to this video as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe to them as well so we can get this tag moving. And also, please make a video so that we can also see a little bit more about you and start this journey together. At the bottom in the description box, you will see the topic and the questions for the month of September. Please feel free to get that started so that way we can really talk about teaching around the world and how education is so fundamental that it is global.